Hey guys and girls, what's going on? It's your master and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy X Part 13. In the last part, we basically went to the shrine, did our ting, did the puzzle, got a new Aeon, and Yuna did a bunch of work and we picked on her and stuff for having bed head and stuff. Also, Kamari talked to us, it was really cool. With that said, let's get moving on with our lives! Oh, Yuna, what's going on? Yep, you have stuff for us? Guys? Oh. Oh, uh, uh, okay. You you got you want to give me an item? Yeah, you, you you know what? Yeah, halberd. Guys, giving us a halberd. Holy shit! He gave us a halberd. I'm not gonna equip that. We need to upgrade that. But plus twenty magic. Jesus Christ, Kamari! You, you fucking you're a beast, man. Priest man. Yeah, yeah, your religious stuff. I get it. I get it. Oh, but I you know what? I love religion all of a sudden. They give me high potions. The religion is great. All hail the given, son. Oh, boy. You're not gonna give me shit? Yeah, ten potions. Wow, you... What are you, a fucking charity over there? Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. You expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. Wow, that's kind of just a dick move in my opinion. I don't know, that just seemed like a genuine, like, asshole thing to do to someone. That's just mean. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come. Oh boy, time for the Moonflow. Guys, wait, wait for Titus. Wait for Titus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haha, <laughs> I'm beating Yuna in line. Ah, oh, fuck. See you guys in a second, I guess. We are now on a new path. A new way to walk. If we find any new enemies, we'll talk to them and fight them and shit for you guys. But if it's the same shits, we won't waste time. Don't worry, I care about you guys now. We're no longer gonna be filling the videos out with just random filler fights. But this isn't filler. Same shit, see you in a sec. Good day, everyone. We can all learn a lesson. From what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. Wow! What a life fucking lesson! I, I still think it's your religious stuff is bullshit, but you know what? That's just that's just my unpopular opinion. Fuck! See you guys in a second. One of Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> you come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear, never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari lost his horn, next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari, howl alone, howl alone. <laughs> Do those two... Got something against you? 
What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But, uh... It's Kimari's problem. He can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Confident. Yeah. Titus, you're like the definition of confidence, son. Jeez, well, Kamari's got his own little self-confidence problems with horn and shit. And then we got fucking, um... Fuck it, I'm gonna talk for a bit. Um... Then we got good old fucking, um, uh... Someone is disappearing. Yeah, yeah, those guys. They, they be disappearing quite a bit. Oh, I don't, what am I saying? Yeah, but yeah, some are disappearing, but Titus is being confident. Fuck, like, if we do our job, mm, they ain't touching our guardian. Oh, fucking, yeah. Our summoner. But, I mean, uh, sure, they'll definitely be touching our guardians. I, I'm, like, very confident in that. Go, go, go! Yes, we will go, 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 Waka. But yeah. Kamari is starting to have a little bit more of a character arc in this game. Even more now. That, that's pretty neat. Character development is always nice for the boy. Always nice. Especially in a character like Kamari. It's always nice to see it. God fucking damn it. Speaking of Kamari, hit him, boy. Good job. Good job, son. Fucking walk up now, are we? Actually, funnily enough, we've been off grid. I've been fighting this random encounter so many times that, like, this is actually the roughest attempt at it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Let's just. That's, that's nasty. That, that's wrong. That ain't right. Let's end this. Yes, please end this, Lulu. Show us what you can do, son. Well, gal. Indeed. Ugh. <sighs> I know, right? Y your feelings are my feelings, Titus. More of this, more of this shit right here. And the audience gives the deal with it this time around too. So you, they're like, "Oh, so you guys must be like, oh my god, another slug." So who's next? But this guy's next. Orin, go get him. Go get him. Farewell, indeed, son. That's how it's done. Damn right, that's how it's done, Orin. Yeah, that's your little random encounter for the episode. Or. Hey, wait, maybe there'll be more. Who knows? Yeah, how fucking we do. I'll just show you guys that one. Or not, because we actually have a big boy random encounter this time around. Ain't that nice. First, let's call our boy Titusin to deal with this small fry. Go get him, Titus. Oh, you done a good job, son. Damn. Okay, so he's not dead yet. That, that's... Kind of shocking, but we just fire on this bitch, right, Lulu? Fuck yeah, we will. Then after that, we're gonna you use magic break. Trust in your magics. Damn right, Orin. Fuck him up. Oh shit. <laughs> Tita, do me a favor. Finish that obnoxious ass wolf off. All right, let's summon you in the heal you up, boy. We got you. Ah. Uh, so considering we have a hentai plan in front of us, that's not the best choice of wording there, Yuna. Jeez, have you not seen Rule 34? Anyways, let's get this going. We're gonna summon our boy Waka in. Waka, show this guy how it's done. Dark attack him. Stay down. Damn right, stay down, like the guy said. Oh fuck, not very effective. Kamori! Oh, we already have the ability off this guy. Hit him harder, Kamori! Yeah, look at him go! Now let's take this opportunity to show off our new Aeon! Ishion! Oh boy, here we go! Ishion for the win! Coming at ya! Bow, 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 bow! Oh, what a badass looking horse that is! Fuck yeah, look at My that name horde! Is pleased to meet you. Fuck yeah! Uh, we're all pleased to meet you, Ishion! Now you thunder on that slut! 
Whoa! God, we smite thee! Bitch, you didn't pray to heaven! Fuck thy! It's basically, Veil for is an all round type. If for the fire type, Initia on the, the thunder type. In case you couldn't tell. Also, Ishion also has white magic in the beginning with no shock and no type. But that's not gonna help us here, so fuck him up, Ishion! What a badass horse! True legend right here. D and yeah, you guys get to see the fear grid this time around during this recording. What do you know? It's been a little bit. Granted, some of you guys never want to see this thing again, so. Yeah, we won't be showing you that often, but still, still. Still nice to know that it's around. Oh yeah, okay, oh wait. Okay, well, now we gotta heal Kamari up because his house is too big. Okay, there you go, Kamari. Silly boy. Alright, let's continue with our quest, our journey. And also, we'll grab this chest along the way. More key sphere, that's great for us. God damn it. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit I'll back in this shit. That's some goddamn confidence there, Waka. See you guys in a second. We'll see if conf Waka's confidence paid off in a second. Oh, hey guys, look at this lady again. Let's talk to her. We beat her last time. We meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Meehan. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of Aeons. A friendly contest, of course. Let's fuck him up! I'm ready. That's the spirit. But before we begin... I have healed your Aeons. Well, shall we? All right, you're going down, nerd. You pick yours first. We'll kick your ass no matter who you choose. Oh, you really picking Ishion on the new one? Well, thankfully, we got to show Ishion off as an ally before you can show him off against us. So, yeah, <laughs> you suck, lady. Haha. <laughs> well, oh, if whichever A on you. Well, if that's the case. We're bringing our boy Ifrit out, son! Fire boy is coming on out! You don't stand a chance, lady! We are fucking professionals at this shit! Look at this badass summoning! So much cooler than your lightning shit! Look at Ifrit! He's gonna fuck you up! Right, Ifrit? I'll take your roar that's coming up as a hell yes! Get it, hell? Cause he's like, he's. Ah, fuck it, raise hell! Get it? Because Hellfire is his move right here. Fuck this Aeon up, Ifrit! Shove no mercy upon its soul at all. She does not stand a chance against your will, Ifrit. Throw that rock at that horse! Fuck yeah! <sighs> And that horse is fucking done. One shotted, son. Thank God if it was already prepared for this fight. Oof, you went down easy, kid. You didn't stand a chance. Stop. That is enough. One move. That's all it took. Checkmate, bitch. Oh yeah, we did it. No AP. What the fuck is this shit? Wow. You're good. You bested me fairly. Here, your prize. Go on, take it. Dragon scale, eh? Sumner soul. Well, it's time to teach you guys how summoner souls work. Basically, processing a summoner soul allows Aeon to fucking learn new abilities. Except the game's doing it for me right now, so let's take a look at it. <laughs> Basically, the stuff we earned from combat, like those dragon scales she just gave us, allows us to synthesize them into new abilities for our Aeons. Like for example, if I wanted to, Ifrit could learn Blizzard. <laughs> or Ishion can learn Cure. Or Veilfor can learn this or that. Or Haste or something. If we have enough of it, and we're willing to give it up, we will 
then we will be able to use them. Veil for... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. I just already explained it. Basically, sacrifice Ting for the Ting. I look forward to meeting you again. Till next time, Yuna. Creepy as a bitch. Like, she sounds really suggestive in her voice. Like, even more suggestive than fucking Lulu back there. Jeez. Like, I, I don't feel too good around that lady, Mrs. Stock. Let's upgrade our gal, Velifuri. Alright, alright, let's go to abilities. What do we want to learn for Veil 4? I suppose we could teach Veil 4 And that's what we're gonna teach her. And that's how that works. You basically give up Tings for other Tings. It's neat. Fuck! Well, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, enjoy the cutscene. This is the Moonflow. These are Moon Lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Uh. Oh. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. What a pretty place. Just look at this place. It's so goddamn pretty. Like, goddamn. What the hell the shoe puff is the better question. Let's find out. But d dang. Whoa! What the? Whoa! This is a shoe puff. Whoa! Let's ride! Come on, let's go! All right, we board as soon as we're ready, huh? Wow, that thing was huge! Wow, pretty lakes, pyreflies, and now shoe puffs? This place has got everything, including a merchant and a chest! Let's check out the chest! Oh, Phoenix Down, they're always helpful. Awaka, what do you got? Awaka, at your service. Got any weapons, my son? Oof. You know what? Oof. Actually, this ball is better than Marcus. The switch hitter! His new ball! Not good. Nope. Let's see. Not a... Alright, let's, let's see your... I let's see your item selection, Owaka. Alright, good enough. Well, you know how you doing? Shoe puffs. I haven't ridden one in so long. What? You've been on one of these? Well, just once. Ten years ago, with Kamari. Remember? Shoe puff shook. Yuna fall in water. Shoe puff scoop up Yuna with long nose. Yuna jump in three more times for fun. 
Mari worried. Whoops. Yuna had fun. Kimari happy. Oh, you know, Kimari's such a, he, he totally a dad here. Like, my guy. That, that's a cute story, Kimari. That's a, that's a really cute story. I lived in the city of Bevel until 10 years ago. I moved to Besaid after my father defeated Sin. Kimari was with me the whole way. Bevel? It's the biggest city in Spira. The main temple of Yevon is there. That's super neat. Come on, let's get on the shoe puff. Come on. All right, you got nothing left to say. Those were some interesting dialogue exchanges, though. Why, hello, guys. Well, that guy's a gun. Uh, okay, shit, we got a second merchant. Let's talk to the second merchant. What the fuck are you offering me? What is this shit? What? What? No, no. You're, you're trying to rip me off. No, I, you don't say thanks. I didn't even buy anything. I'm just looking for your stock. You're offering this. Jesus, Grace, you, you, you be a weirdo, son. Okay, dangerous. I got you. Guys with guns. Jeez, I thought Yevon was against guns or something. You guys are just holding them casually. Against Machina and shit like that. Isn't this kind of hypocritical in any way possible? Fuck it, okay. Uh, shit, a third merchant. What do you got, girl? Aside from my number. Cause, you know, I'm about to write a piece of paper and give it to you. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, you don't want my number? What do you mean you just want my guilt? Fucking thought, you can steal my money. Okay, bitch. Okay, fine. We're not buying shit from you people. Orin, how you doing, son? Ten years ago. Ah, a history lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jet never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. Yeah, look at that! That shoe puff still has the marking from Jack on his leg over there! God damn, I, I don't think I ever noticed that before like that. Also, Jack J gave up his drinking problem because he fucked up. Maybe Jack didn't so bad after all. You know, aside from the fact that he's thin now. Oh well, he wants let me lose him. Okay, whatever. Let's see what's going on over here! Hey. No, I don't think so. It's bad idea, yes? Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that. Just... <sighs> it is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain, sir. But that'll take days. Oh, boy. That's our captain. Yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Well, those may be some very inspirational wor words, but we couldn't hear those words because the game decided to glitch that audio out. That was weird. That never happened before. You guys don't get to hear her say it. But hey, on the bright side, you got to hear Tita say it. On the other hand, stop fucking riding the chocobo and letting your other two just fucking run. God damn, that guy lost like fucking 30 pounds in like, I don't know, maybe a week or two. Stop it, stop it. You, you nasty lady. Don't, don't. Jeez. Hey, Mr. History Man, you got a history lesson for us? Would you like to hear a bit about the wondrous... 
of course, tell us about the shoe puff. Very well. There are many things we do not know about the shoe puff. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. The water it sucks through its schmars somehow supports its considerable size. Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. That's actually super neat. So I'm thinking these guys only survive off water. That's my theory on them. That's cool. Yeah, you got something to give us? Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. Hey, chest. I know what to give you, Mr. Chest. 5,000 gil. Who the fuck just left 5,000 gil hanging around? I mean, I ain't complaining. I'm going to fucking take that gil, but still. Goddamn, son. Lulu, what do you think? Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. Right? <laughs> oh, that was kind of cute. A nice little bromance moment between Waka and T to say. The merchants here are wily. Pick your shop well. I choose none. All of them are cunts. They all ripped me off. The merchants here are wily. Waka, you got any opinions? Let the driver know when you're ready. Will do. Let the driver know. Well, okay, what about this guy? What's your story? Well, fuck, another one of you guys? Fine, I'll check you out. Fuck. Okay, that seems temporarily better. For now. But we're gonna be upgrading the Brotherhood slowly over time. Until then, Tita's can hold the Hunter Sword for now. That's new for him, I guess. Actually, and we're also gonna buy this. The flame tongue, but we're not gonna equip it on the boy. And we're also gonna buy the ice ball, but we're not gonna equip it. This guy actually has some decent stuff on him. Keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. We need some gills. Sons, we need the monies. We need the monies. All of the monies. Getting me a bunch of money. We have a bunch of shit. Now that I'm looking at this. All right, let's see what else we got here to sell. Holy shit, I didn't even know we had this. Waka, let's equip that. Fuck the ball you have now. God damn. Can tell us this shit, Waka. I'm like, fuck, son. Well, then why are you with this OP? Like, I didn't know we had something that did 10 plus damage. Fuck, that's a lot of damage. I'm not selling that. I'm gonna combine that later. Oh, man. We need some, like, strength in that. And then that is the perfect fucking ting if we ever decide to prioritize magic as a Kamari. Oh, okay. What do you got for items? I'm gonna assume you're gonna be the same as everyone else in that regard. Yeah, what a shaka. All right, since we're still on camera, let's equip that new that other ball and walker. Yeah, this which it is better. Like fuck, way better. That one did plus eight combined. That one just does plus ten. Plus we can upgrade it later. That is a way better switch hitter. Let me tell you, really OP. Get nerfed next fucking patch, son. But you know it's gonna get nerfed this video because we're done for this part. But. Uh, but I will say this. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this part of Final Fantasy X. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. And to get notified when the next Let's Play of Final Fantasy comes out. Whenever a live stream. Or when the next Kingdom Hearts part comes out. And uh, click the link in the description down below to follow me on Twitter. I'm always active on there in case you ever want to get in contact with me. DM me, etc. And uh, yeah. Peace out. Meister out.